Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. Pakibati po yung ating katabi na may kasamang iti dito sa unang araw ng ating simbang gabi. Good morning. Good morning. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You were sent, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Let your tireless grace accompany us, Lord God. Let it go before us and follow after, that in union with the Blessed Virgin Mary, we who long for the coming of your Son may be sustained by your love in this life and in the life to come. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. When the people of God practice justice and do what is right, they become a house of prayer for the Lord, a sanctified community whose worship is most acceptable to God. A reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this, the son of man who holds to it, who keeps the Sabbath free from profanation and his hand from any evil doing. Let not the foreigner say, when he would join himself to the Lord, the Lord will surely exclude me from his people. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord, and will becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Thus says the Lord God, Who gathers the disperse of Israel, others will I gather to him besides those already gathered. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh God, let all the... May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. The earth has yielded its fruits. God, our God, has blessed us. May God bless us and may all the ends of the earth fear him. Please stand. Come, Lord, bring us your peace that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Hallelujah.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept testimony from a human being, but I say this so that you may be saved. John was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Pwede ho ba sundan niyo ako? Sabihan niyo yung inyong katabi? Itong sabihin niyo, Kapatid? Tatagal ka ba? Okay, mag-isip ng anong tatagal dyan. May mga bagay kasi ngayon na hindi na tumatagal. Tulad halimbawa na mag-boyfriend o girlfriend. Hanggang 11 years lang. Kaya yung mga sweet-sweet dyan na katabi niyo, kakilala niyo, Sabihan nyo ng ganito. Sige, sundan nyo ako. Alam mo, maghihiwalay din kayo. <laughs> Unang araw ng simbang gabi, tatagal kaya kayo? Sino sa inyo dito? Survey lang. Ang nakatapos ng siyam na araw, last year, last year, siyo nakatapos? O, oh, konti lang. Tatagal kaya to mga to? Hindi ko natatanungin yung mga hindi nakatagal. Sana tumagal, ano? May mga bagay kasi sa buhay natin na magandang patagalin, pero may mga bagay din na hindi natin inaalis kaagad. Ewan ko kung bakit. Alimbawa, yung masaktan sa pag-ibig, yung iba, eh, hindi makamove on. Kaya nga, may natanggap akong text. Sabi ng text ay, bakit mahirap pansinin ang isang ex yung tanong, bakit mahirap pansinin ang isang ex? Dahil ba'y nasaktan ka niya? Dahil ba'y niloko ka niya? Dahil ba'y iniwan ka niya? O ayaw mo lang aminin na mahal mo pa rin siya? Move on din. Move on. May mga tao din na ang hirap makapagpatawad. Ang tagal. Nasasaktan na sila. Kaya mga kapatid, kung meron kayong kaaway, para mawala yung sakit. Makalimutan nyo na lahat. Ito yung gawin nyo. Yung kaaway nyo, araw-araw, pag nakita nyo, ngitian nyo. Kasi pag lagi nyo ngingitian yan, mamamatay agad yan. Subukan nyo mamaya. O pag nakita nyo, ngitian nyo. Nandiyan na naman, ngiti na naman. Kaya huwag kayo magtaka kung kayo rin ay ngingitian. Gusto rin na mamatay kayo kaagad. O di magngitian na lang kayo, sarap ng buhay, nangitian kayo, nangitian. Hindi pinapatagal, pero pinapatagal natin. Itong ating pagmisa ngayon, uh, siyam na araw, sana makatagal tayo at sana higit pa. Nakakalungkot lang sa ating mga katoliko, pansin na pansin ko to sa mga simbahang na-assign ako, napuntahan ko. Pag unang araw ng simbang gabi, punong-puno ang simbahan. Second day, medyo okay pa. Third day, pero pagdating ng siyam na araw, konti na lang. Pero okay lang yan, mga kapatid. Siyam na araw lang naman eh. Ang problema kung naging seasonal, ang pagiging katoliko, hanggang simbang gabi lang. Yung mga kabataan dyan, hanggang simbang gabi lang. May nagkwento sa akin, yung mga kabataan daw dito eh, mahilig pumaten ng simbang gabi, lalo na sa madaling araw, sapagkat ang tawag na nila sa misa ngayon ay Misa de Bana. Misa de Bana. Sa mga taga Pangasinan, 
ay ibig sabihin daw niyan, naghahanap ng girlfriend at boyfriend for the future. Hanggang doon lang, hindi na sustain yung ating panalangin sa, ibang, sa ating unang pagbungad na panalangin to sustain us. Sana patagalin na sa gayon, hindi lang sa siyam na araw, kundi linggo-linggo po. Merong survey na ginawa daw dito sa Pangasinan, sa Manawag, nang umaatend ng misa, nagsisimba dito sa Basilika, sa mga Katoliko dito, 3.4% lang. At karamihan ay mga pilgrims. Nakakalungkot, ano? Hindi natin pinatatagal, hindi natin nasusustain. Kaya nga, sana pagkatapos ng Pasko, lahat ng kabutihang makuha natin, ituloy natin. Halimbawa na lang, yung pagbibigay. Sinasabi lagi, naririnig natin, Christmas is a season of giving. E bakit hanggang Pasko lang ang season? Hindi ba ho ba dapat 365 days all year round yung pagbibigay? Let's sustain it. Patagalin natin. Yung magpatawad, patagalin natin. Patawarin ka agad. Huwag patagalin ang sama ng loob o ang galit. Marami mga kapatid ang mga bagay na dapat natin isustain, patagalin sa buhay natin. Kaya ngayon, sabihan niyo yung katabi niyo. Pwede bang sundan niyo uli ako? Kapatid, alam ko, marami kang problema. Kasama dyan, yung pagbumukha mo. Hindi bali, tanggapin mo, may mga bagay na walang pag-asa. Pero, yung kaya mo, patagalin ang paggawa ng kabutihan. Tapusin agad ang kasamaan. You know, we have Christmas because God sustains us with His love. Ang pag-ibig niya nagpapatagal sa atin at nagpapasaya ng ating pagdiriwang. Nawa pag-uwi natin, bitbit natin ang saya. Hindi lang sa Paskong ito, kundi araw-araw sa buhay natin. Please stand for the prayers of the faithful. Let us pray to the Heavenly Father that reflecting the light of the Lord Jesus, we may also become like lighted lamps for men and women, as John the Baptist was. With confidence we pray, Father, hear our prayer. Father, hear our prayer, that as a church, we may celebrate the Misa de Gallo with praise and thanksgiving to God for the gift of faith and our love and devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. The government and church leaders work together in helping our country rise above the evils of corruption, division, and violence, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. That families, communities, and the whole nation work for the goodwill and reconciliation as we all prepare for the Lord's coming with peaceful and joyful hearts, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. That every Misa de Gallo in which we participate fill us with joy and peace, and that we may share such gifts with every person, the desperate, the lonely, and the unforgiven, that all people may experience the joy of Christmas, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may find pardon and peace and be numbered among the saints in heaven. We pray. Father, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, hear our prayer. Lord, 
fill our hearts with your love. As we prepare for the coming of your Son as man, lift our minds in watchful hope and in fervent prayer. He asks this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. God, our strength in you is our hope and salvation. As we present these gifts, renew your joy within us and make us a living sacrifice of praise. We ask this. In the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, presenting down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic de Guzman, and all the saints of least you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. May kli lang ang buhay, kaya kung may pagkakataon, ngiting-iti rin pag may time. Itian natin yung ating katabi, baka last na. A sign of peace. Ang hindi ngiting-iti, kukunin agad ni Lord. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. O oh God, we have received in word and sacrament the one whose coming John the Baptist so urgently announced. By the presence of Christ among us, reform our lives and give us courage to announce in the world that your kingdom is near. He asks this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa misa. Saan man kayo magpupunta ngayon sa araw na ito, dating ng mga araw, naway bitbit nyo lagi ang mga biyaya ng ating Diyos Ama at ang mga panalangin na mahal na ilang Maria. Ingat kayo sa pag-uwi. Advance Merry Christmas. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you gave us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sheer sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, 
Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.